Welcome everybody to the Prolonged Engagement Show. This is episode 49. My name is Kyle. And I'm Sarah. And as always, you can find us at theprolongedengagement.com. There you can find links to absolutely everything we do, including Facebook and YouTube and iTunes, where you can find the audio version of this podcast. Anyway, so, um... I'm eating a green tea Kit Kat. Yeah, that we got from World Market the other day. And night. they're really good. Yeah. Legitly, guys, if you find these, they're the green tea Kit Kat, they're really good. <laughs> yeah, we found them at World Market. So uh, if you like green tea, I guess you'll like those. I'm not too keen on the green tea, so I wouldn't know. You won't even try it. Nope. Not not going not gonna to do it. Not going to do it. Anyway, what did I get at the World Market? Ritter Espresso. Oh, that's right. I found a Ritter, a Ritter ex- Espresso bar. Um, Ritter is a it's a German chocolate, but um, I like their cappuccino flavored, but they don't have cappuccino freaking anywhere. We've only been able to find it like one place. In, and then they stopped shipping. And then they stopped stopped uh, having it. I, fa- I found it at World Market once, and then I found it at Target once. Which and then was I found weird. it at Target for you, and I bought the entire thing. Yeah. Um, and uh, I have not seen it since. It's nope. It's been very sad. Very, very sad. Those are the few things that, you know, in, um, you know, whenever we, we visit Germany again, the first thing I'm going to get is uh, is a whole uh, liter of um, Mesomix Zero. And then the second thing I'm going to grab is a Shakomak. Oh, and then the third thing you, is a is a Ritter uh is a Ritter um she, he, uh uh cappuccino bar. He, he he um damn it Alphabet, you're in my way. He like raised my hopes at World Market the other night or last night. No. Well, because it looked like Shakomak in the He in was the like jar. he's like there's Shakomak. And I honestly started freaking out. I was like, "What?" Oh, it looked so much like it. I don't think you would taste like it at all. It said hazelnut and white chocolate spread. No, a hazelnut and vanilla. Oh, I don't. I don't remember exactly what chocolate was made out of. It was. Um, I know what it was made and, out of. It was made out of crack cocaine. Um, it was chocolate and I think white chocolate. Was it chocolate and white chocolate? I think so. Because uh, choco, chocolate is a chocolate. Uh-huh. So chocolate is chocolate spread. I don't. I don't know. It was. It was some sort of chocolate spread, and we had it on toast, and so it was every morning. Amazing. Um, kind of like Nutella, only better, better. than Nutella. Um, you heard it here, folks. There is something out there better than Nutella, and it's called Chocomog. Get it sent to the United States. Um. So, uh, if you haven't figured this one out, um, I'm a crazy Apple fanboy. Uh, but I'm not so crazy as in, like, I have to have the newest thing all the time. I just enjoy Apple products because they work well. Um, so we we were up for an upgrade. So Sarah and I are getting the new uh, iPhone 6. That we found out um, that uh, Apple had had um, had uh, introduced, to, introduced to the world a couple weeks ago on September the 9th. So... I want to talk to Sarah about how excited she was about all the things that they had. Uh, it all went over my head. Giving, that are giving for us. It all went over my head. How? I don't understand what the hell they said. How so? The, uh, I get that the screen is special, and there's a new processing thingy, but sugar. And that's the extent of my understanding. Okay. Well... First of all, 12 megapixel camera, okay? I don't understand what that means. As opposed to an 8 megapixel. I don't understand what that means. This is why we don't talk technology. I don't understand it. You don't get it, do you, baby? So, better camera. Thank you. Shoots 4K video. See, that's bet. Th- thank you. Say that, and I understand it. Shoots 12 megapixel pictures. 
What does that mean? Okay, so... Uh, excuse me. Man, you are just sexing it up today. I am sexing it up. Um, so my digital camera... Someone out there is going to find me My actual appealing? digital camera is 12 megapixels. Oh, okay. So I'm getting the same size pictures out of it. Okay. And um, since the... Uh, the Apple cameras have always been freaking amazing on their iPhones. I'm just expecting this to be just great. I mean, I find, I think the pictures on my 5S are freaking fantastic. Yeah. I can only imagine what they're going to look like on the on the 6S. So, um, but my, I mean, my biggest thing was that was 3D touch, which, come on, Apple, it's Force Touch. We all know it's Force Touch. Just t- just call it Force Touch. And even uh, Hair Force One called it Force Touch. So, uh, why do you keep calling it Hair Force One? Oh my God, Craig Frederighi. Okay, he is the he is the senior vice president for software engineering. Okay. Mhm. All right. His hair is on point one hundred percent of the time. Okay. Yeah. That man's hair is perfect all the time. Mhm. So people call him Hair Force One. Okay. Okay. That's just how it is. I really like Craig Federighi. I, he's my favorite guy at Apple. He really is. And I idolize him kind of because he's, he's you know, he's in my shtick. He's in my field, you know, the whole you software know. thing going on there. That's really what I want to do is, uh, you know, I mean, like my dream job would be writing iOS. Mm-hmm. So I'd really, really love to write iOS. Um, either that or Mac OS X, but iOS would be really fun to do. Wow, what are you doing over there? Mm-hmm. Just because I'm talking about I, 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 I'm fuck, we're ending the show after eight minutes because Sarah doesn't care about you. I care. I got asked a question. Sorry. Um, I was trying to answer it, and I can't answer it in like one word or two. Mm, I see how it is. Do you even know what 3D Touch does? Yeah, I can press it harder and it does something different. Right. So it, it does it by the force that you push that you put on the screen. So like if you're if you um like if you're taking a a, a video so like if you tap the so if you tap the camera button, it's just gonna open up the camera app. Okay? And so it normally opens it up to photo. Yes. Right? And it's gonna be using the rear camera, okay? Yeah. Now, if you use three D touch and you push a, put a little pressure on it, it will open up a it'll open up a menu to where you can hit uh, take photo, take selfie, take mm-hmm. video. So the if you hit the, the iPhone is gonna say take a selfie, I'm gonna be pissed. Well, that's that's what that's that's what it is. So because you can hit that, take that selfie not- and it will open in open up the the camera, and it will be face it'll be using the fa- the front oh, front shit. facing camera. Yeah. But it would be really cool. It's like, oh, I want to take a video of this. Tap. Okay, now I have to swipe over to the video. Now I can take the video, right? Yeah. Well, now you could just force touch it and hit take, click take video. Opens it right up to the video. Okay. What about Facebook? You can force touch on 3D touch on the... Uh, on the Facebook app and do different things. Yeah. So it'll take you straight to posting, straight to your pages, you know. So will they get rid of the damn pages app? That sucks. No, that's yeah. Facebook thing. They want to they want to take everything out of the regular Facebook app and make you use a different Facebook app, which is Messages. Sucky. The biggest one was messen- Messenger. I hate Messenger. But you have to use it. Yeah, I know. You have Can't to use, use it. Use chat. Mm-hmm. I've tried to. But I just, I just turned off my camera and microphone privileges for Facebook and Messenger. Oh, you did? Why? Because they said that they can turn it on anytime they want. What? It says it right there in their privacy policy. Damn. It says we can turn on your microphone or your camera even if, um, if you give us permission to your microphone and your camera, we can turn it on at any time we want. That's what it says in their privacy policy. And so I said, well, guess what? You don't get access to my camera. You didn't get access to my microphone. There you go. And so the only thing, I've given them access to my camera roll. So I have to take a picture, and then I have to post it to Facebook. 
I can't I can't take a picture from Facebook. She's trying to get down. Because I made her mad. Because I didn't allow it access to the camera. Now she's going to lick my feet. Yeah, because you got mad at me. Hmm? She got mad at me. Mm. She's going to be mad at me for the rest of the damn day. There's going to be ones for mail. And I'm really excited that because we've always had to double click to change um, apps. And now we don't have to do that with 3D Touch. I know. Now you just have to apply you tell me a little pressure and swipe to the right, and it goes straight to the app switcher. I'm like, mm. oh, man. I'm going to be so lost oh, man. the first it's week of within using it. Yeah, it'll be fine. No, it won't. I'm really excited for the um, for the, uh, the slow-mo mm. because I get 240 frames per second instead of 120, mm-hmm. so I can do it. Um, you know, twice as slow as uh, as before. And um, what? Do you want some? No. And uh, to be nice to 4K you. video is going to be really, really cool too. I know. It's going to be but, awesome. But that was actually not the uh, not the most exciting thing that not I for you. that I got out of that one. The most exciting thing is definitely the Apple TV. What are you in about? Because I don't understand any of it. What do you mean you don't understand any of it? I sat there and I let you watch it because I know how much of a fanboy you are. And I sat there and I was like. They haven't. Okay. okay, They haven't updated the Apple TV since 2012. Okay. Yeah. The Apple TV that we have is, you know, three years old. Three years old. I mean, the model is three years old. I didn't buy it three years ago. No. Um, We've had it for well over a year though mm-hmm. um probably two years maybe yeah and um and then we got so mom and dad one i've been itching to get i've been itching for them to you know make a new apple tv um because I, I was i was willing to see what they were going to do with it now here's the kicker okay this this was the thing that fucking blew my mind mm-hmm. um well, not only not only have they have they added Siri integration for it, so I can just ask for a video. So in the um, so uh, in the keynote, the woman goes, "Hey, can you uh, uh, find me the episode of Modern Family that uh, that Ed that Edward Norton was in?" That's what she asked Siri, mm-hmm. and Siri found the episode of Modern Family that had Edward Norton in it. Damn, and um. And uh, do you remember that one? That nope. was the one where uh, um, he was like this uh, this old like uh, 90s rock guy who played the bass guitar. He's like, come on, she's not your sister, kiss her. You remember that one no. at all? <sighs> anyway, but they were, so she was playing that episode and um, Claire had said something. And so she, she clicks on Siri, she goes, what did she just say? And then so it it backed it up 15 seconds and then put subtitles at the bottom so that you could read what she said. Damn. So I was sitting there like, holy crap. Um, that's not your toy. Hmm? She got our trouble. Oh, that's fine. That's not fine. That's for my loot crate. Oh, it's fine. We'll put it up in a minute. Um, I don't know how it got to the ground anyway, but... Um, the thing that really got me was this thing that that bugs you and I. Where we we all the time, and that's when you, you sit mean there the and go trying to find the shit. So yeah, you, we sit there and we go. Um, Just move closer to the table. I don't want to sit closer. The hell! I'm tired. Mm-hmm. The um. So you always sit there and you go, "Hey, is, hey, is um, this on? Is Hulu this on Netflix?" On this on Netflix. And um, because we have, um, technically we have three different streaming services, you know, um, and not Netflix, even mentioning, not even mentioning uh, Hulu, on Amazon. Amazon. So we have Netflix, we have Amazon, uh, we have Hulu, and we have HBO Go. Oh, HBO Go. So now, granted, the Apple TV doesn't have Amazon. Nope. Um, but it has three of the four, which I'm perfectly fine with. 
Is it getting Amazon on the new rendition? I don't mm, I don't know about that. It may. In fact, I'm thinking it probably will now that there's going to be an app store. Mm-hmm. Um, so I'm sure that Amazon's going to want to put their content on there. I'm not sure. I, I really don't know. I hope so, but um, the thing that got me was is that you can sit there, you can ask Siri, he goes, um, oh, I'm looking for a season eight of Doctor Who, okay? And so it will pull up season eight of Doctor Who, and it'll say, oh, well, you can get this on iTunes, but this is also available on Netflix and available on Hulu. And it'll tell you the places that it's available. Oh, that's wonderful, because that makes my life easy. So if you're looking up a movie, so let's say that, you know, you want to do, like, we wanted to watch The Patriot, okay? We just say... Um, look at the Patriot and it'll say that it's on iTunes and this month it's on HBO go and we're like holy crap I can watch it I can watch Patriot fall free on my HBO go that's yes. what's gonna get me that's what I want it for right there yeah that that sold it for me the I was apps not going, so much yeah they have like now they have games on it and crap like that and I'm like mm, I don't care um, but I'm really they excited crossy to, road they do have Crossy Road, and they have a. It's they're going to do um two player cross, Crossy Road, which is going to be awesome. Um, where one person plays with the Apple TV Apple TV remote, and the other person plays with their iPhone. Um, but both on the TV at once, and um, which is going to be really cool. Um, the other thing I was really excited about was the, um, so they showed MLB.com that is what's mlb Men's major league baseball mm. okay so they have mlb is already on the apple mm. tv but they had it to where um and you have to pay a subscription yeah for that yeah but they had it to where you can watch two games at once or while you're watching this game you can get updates on the right side of another game you know, so if you're not, you know, too keen on that one or whatever, you're like, oh, well, this is my secondary team that I kind of care about, but I'd rather watch. Watch this game. You know, I mean, if you're a if you're a St. Louis Cardinals fan and you're like, oh, well, the Atlanta Braves are playing today, too. Let me just put up their stats on mm-hmm. the, the Atlanta Braves, you know, while I'm watching the Cardinals game. Um, you know, you can you can do that. Or, you know, if you want to watch um, if you want to watch the Mets and you want to watch um and you want to watch the uh the Pittsburgh Pirates at the same time you can yeah. so i was like wow that's that is really cool and i'd like to see what they do with that since since the uh i mean it's already there yes. so it's been done which means other apps can do this too yep so i'm sure that watch espn is probably going to take um uh t- Elfie. 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 All right. She knows she's in trouble. Um, because I've told her multiple times not to touch the treble. But um, I'm sure like yeah, watch ESPN will take uh take advantage of that and and sort of thing like that. That got me really excited. The thing that I'm not too excited about the iPad Pro. Who cares? <laughs> iPad is dead. But um, so I was I was really pissed. Amazon was, killed the iPad. Um. No. The PC killed the iPad, which I am so happy about. I really am happy about that. Why? There was a time you were you you used to be all pro pa- iPad. Hmm. You used to be pro iPad. I am still pro iPad. I think that it's a great that I, I think it's a great device. But that's just the thing. I think it's a great device. Um, it's not a creative tool, you know, you can't get things done with it. No. Um, that's just not what it's built. That's not what it was built for. It's just a, um, it's a, it's a glorified phone, you know, without um, calls with, you know, well, it can take FaceTime calls, but, uh, but I mean, what Android tablets can't do that unless they do it on, well, they can do it on Google Hangouts. Never mind. But, um, you know, I I was really worried in, in 2010 when they, they came out with the iPad and then 
Um, so everyone was getting, was, you know, everyone had to have one, right? Yeah. So everyone had to have one of these iPad things. And then, so people were saying, oh, well, I'll just, you know, I'll just get a computer. I'll leave it at home and then I'll get an iPad. Yep. And I don't have to, and, um, so I don't have to buy another computer. And so. Buy a laptop along with a you computer. You know, I don't have to buy a laptop and a computer. So then the PC said, you know, and with Windows 8 too, it was like, oh, well, you know, we need to combat this whole tablet thing. So let's create a whole tablet OS, uh, you know, an OS that, you know, ha- is touch centric that doesn't really work on a, that doesn't really work on a desktop. So, you know, Windows, Microsoft was pre- pretty much fucking killing the PC, um, because no one wanted to buy a new computer because, you know, not all of them came with touch. And, um, but I was really worried that, you know, we would no longer have that these powerful PCs would become extinct. Yeah. Because everyone was saying, oh, well, my iPad can do this and my iPad can do that. And I'm like, yeah, but your iPad, you know, you know, maybe your iPad is, is powerful to you, but guess what? It can't render two streams of 4K video, you know, in a decent amount of time and get them out to, you know, it can't freaking do anything other than consume. Yep. It's a consumer device. It's not a production device. And so I was really worried that these these low, these low capacity, you know, things you know, were the not, wave of the future. You know, not that powerful machines were going to overtake the market. Um, and, and come out on top, and I'm just so glad that that's not the case. So glad. No, gamers wouldn't allow that. The um, the iPad has has been dropping steadily, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's not just the iPad, but Android tablet sales mm-hmm. have been dropping. Um, it, not it, even we're, we're not at even the, end of the Am- tablet. Not even Amazon can keep up. You know. Uh, with, uh, and they have the most popular tablets. They have, you know, some of the most popular tablets on the market with their, uh, with their fire tablets, which are, which, you know, I've heard are great devices. And, you know, we have a friend with one, um, who he says is it's, it's a great little device, but it's exactly what he says. He said, this is a consumer device. Yep. I watch, you know, Hulu on it, you know, and things like that. And no, I'll look we're, up, we're... I'll look up the occasional cupcake recipe you know, this is not something yeah. like, if I didn't have my MacBook Pro, I don't know what the hell I would do. We're, we're at the end of the tablet era. So I really think so. I mean, I'm sure that there still be, um, especially because lots of the... Kids use tablets. Well, lots of the kids use tablets, so they're never going to go away. Um, but... But they're not for adults. With this whole... But all the uh, all the PCs are coming out as these two-in-ones. Yeah. Where they're both a tablet and a laptop and crap like that, and then there's, um, there's stuff like the like the Surface Pro. Yeah. Like I have one. It's crap. And <gasps> no, you say like it's that. crap. I just don't like it. <gasps> My problem is it's a great it's a great little device and it's got enough power to satisfy me, but it just it's not a Mac. It's not a Mac. And it's running off of Windows 10, and it's just so crappy. I mean, Windows 10 has had done has done a hell of a lot for it, mm-hmm. as far as what it can do and how snappy it is. And I'm just sitting there going, "Oh my god!" Mm. It drives me crazy. I can't see, and maybe it's because I'm, you know, I like to run multiple things at once. Yeah. But I, I like, don't. I was see- doing a. I was writing some code with Visual Studio, and I was doing a Google Hangout with a couple guys. Okay. Yeah, I know who. And. Babe, I know what you're talking about. Right. Okay. And but, the guys who probably don't watch the show. Yeah, I know they don't. But they, um, so they, they were complaining. They were like, dude, you were lagging like crazy. I'm like, what do you mean? They're like, I can't, you know, they're like. Your mouth, you're speaking, and then your words don't. Your, your words come way before your mouth starts opening. I'm like you piece of shit, and I can literally see 
the lag. There is probably, I mean, there was literally a five second lag of what I was doing, like moving back and forth, and then what I could see as my picture on Google Hangouts. And I'm like, that's bullshit. I'm running two freaking apps on this thing. I'm running Visual Studio and I'm running Chrome. That's what I'm doing. Like, and you can't keep up with this. You literally don't have the power to keep up with this. That's not good. And I was like, you're running a freaking i5 processor. You shouldn't have to sit there and and bitch Mm -hmm. and complain. I find it funny. And my biggest, my biggest complaint too is that it's an, it's one of those AC network adapters. Yeah. You know, that supposedly runs at 1.3 gigabits per second Mm -hmm. over Wi-Fi. Yeah. You have an AC wireless chip in your MacBook Pro. Yeah. Okay. Because you have one of the Retina MacBooks. I love my MacBook Pro. Now, I have tested the speed over your Wi-Fi. Oh, you have? Because, yeah, because we have an AC wireless um, uh, router. So I've tested the speeds between between the router and uh, in the computer, and they're like they're gigabit speeds. So I know that the damn thing's working right, and then I can't get that fucking surface to come anywhere close to what your MacBook Pro is getting over Wi-Fi. Because the Mac. Because they the chip the AC chip that they put in there is a piece of shit. <laughs> so there's like. I don't even want to get into how shitty it is because that's a whole nother show in itself. It'll go in. I'll, I'll have to go into so many specifics. There's two bands of Wi-Fi. Ka- There's a two. No, no, no. I have to say this because it really fucking pisses me off. There's a 2.4 giga, giga, uh, gigahertz and there's a five gigahertz AC to give you the, the quickest uh, speeds possible has to be on the five gigahertz yet. That stupid surface only wants to use the 2.4 gigahertz band. So I have to force it to use the 5 gigahertz band. And even then, it doesn't connect over AC. It connects over N. So I'm like, I have an AC router, an AC computer, yet it connects over N. Which is 450 megabits per second. And I don't even think it gets that. I think it uses like 200 because it's a piece of shit. Well, all right, guys. It, it's really, really great to write notes on, though. I know class. that's all it's good for. That's all it's good for. It has a really, really good pen, okay. and I can take good notes you on ready? it. You ready? What? Well, all right, guys. This was episode 49. I was going to try to do the outro, but I don't have it memorized yet. Wow. You just stopped in the middle of it, so good it's, job. I, uh, it's, it's, uh, if you're going to do it, you, you do it full, full I have force. To do it. I have to do it? Okay, I'm doing it then. All right, guys, this was episode 49 of the Prolonged Engagement Show. Uh, if you would like more of our content, go to YouTube, Facebook, or iTunes for the uh, audio. My name is Sarah. And I'm Kyle. And we'll see you guys n- tomorrow. Bye. They do good? Theprolongedengagement.com. I tried. <laughs>